one of the great mistakes I find a lot of people, including sophisticated real estate investors make, is they don't understand that each property category is very different. Yes, they all involve leases, but the lease on a hotel is typically a night, and the lease on an anchor uh, in a strip center tends to be 20 or 30 years. So yes, they involve leases, but in very different ways. Each property does involve real space, and yet in differing ways. Some of them are consumer products, like a hotel. Some of them are really just business product, like a warehouse. And as a result, the things that make a warehouse work for businesses are different than things that trigger the consumer's imagination, for example, in a hotel. So for example, senior citizen housing, uh, whether it's independent living or assisted living, you want to sense that your mother, your father, your grandmother is secure there, that they are going to be cared for, that they're not going to be hassled, there's interesting things for them to do, it's clean, it's well kept, and a sense of community. You don't care about any of those except cleanliness for a warehouse. Warehouse, what do you care about with a warehouse? How quickly can a unionized truck driver get the truck from the highway to the loading dock so that I can stop paying a union wage to the truck driver? And then how quickly can boxes be taken off the truck into the warehouse or from the warehouse into the truck? And that has to do with how high I can stack things, how palleted, how mechanized, and the faster that can get done, it's just a stopwatch. I'm paying labor, and the less labor I can pay, the more value goes to the warehouse. An apartment building, an apartment building, people want to feel good about where they're going to live, but they're only going to live there a year or two years at most in most cases. They don't have to like it as a place where they'll live forever, but they do have to feel safe and secure and have a cool factor that at least when other peers and their parents come, they can actually say, mom, this is where I'm living, isn't it cool? Uh, mom won't always agree, but that's what you're trying to achieve is a short-term response. A hotel, I just wanna be easy in, easy out, well cared for, no surprises the night or two I'm there. A hotel, you could have the best physical hotel in the best location in the city, but if they spit at you when you try to register, the hotel will fail. If I have the best physical office building in the best location in the city, even if I've got surly security guards at the desk, the building will do okay, not as well as if I have good ones, because most of the workers have IDs that go into the building. They don't even have to deal with the security guards. Very different dynamics. Um, office building, it's about image. Very much about image. Coolness factor for some, stoic uh, factor for others, class of a certain type for others. What does it communicate? Windows are important particularly in retail, and windows are also very important in office buildings. People like to look out while they're in their office. Every one of you has gone into an office building, and one of the first things we all do is look out the window and kind of form an impression of what's going on around us. Retail, retail is probably the most unique of any property category, and that's because if I buy an apartment building and I buy it really, really cheap compared to the competition, I could set my rents low enough that people will decide to live there rather than in the competition. If I have a low enough cost basis for my warehouse, I can set my rent low enough people will store their boxes there rather than the competition. Office building, if I can get my office space cheaply enough, people will rent my space rather than the others. Retail, even if I get the space really cheap, I cannot lower my rents enough to make people want to shop there. Why not? Because no matter how low I make my rent, the price of Cheerios being sold by the supermarket will be unaffected. 
I can't lower my rent enough to impact the price at which they can sell items for. And therefore, with retail, many people have made the mistake of saying, well, I have a low cost basis in it, and therefore I'll succeed. You're not going to succeed in retail if people don't want to shop there. And it's for the simple reason that you cannot impact what the thing people want sells for. So obviously you can have hours upon hours spent on each different property category and what makes it tick. The real key is to understand it is different for each property category and come to learn what makes them different.